Well, to stay employed, sometimes you have to adapt to an ever-changing work environment. In this week's Kern Back in Business, 23 ABC Scott Sheehan spoke with job professionals about the labor market in Kern County and how you can adapt to the changing job market. Scott? Mike Danielle, according to the California Department of Finance, Kern County added 75,000 new residents this last decade. With those new people come new jobs and new opportunities for you to find work and even change your career. The service industry in the hospitality world of like fast food and things like that, that is growing because Kern County is growing. According to the state of California, 10,000 people moved to Kern County last year. And Carmen Carpio with Express Employment Professionals says she started to add new workers to serve those new residents. There's a lot of new um, homes being developed and a lot of new fast food corners and shopping centers. I know that's growing as well right now, too. Well, Carpio says the hospitality world is easy to place people into. She says skilled workers are harder for companies to hire. We are struggling right now is to find skilled labor. So certified mechanics, um, certified forklift drivers, we seem to fall short in finding uh, those types of talents at this time. If you're looking to change from one of those lower paying hospitality jobs to one of those higher paying skilled worker positions, Cheryl Scott with the Kern County Economic Development Office says it's never too late to go back to school. The salary potential is really good for people who have a couple of years of education under their belt or specific training. Shane Lopez is a recent worker who changed careers. He says he got an undergraduate degree in human science to work in a nursing home. He says he has a passion for helping people, but the nursing home hours just weren't for him. I recommend being single if you're doing it just because the fact is if you have a family, you have to dedicate those hours. You're dealing with other people's lives. Um, you have to be willing and able to uh, get out at zero hours. Lopez went back to school to get a degree in business, and now he helps people by being a job placer at Express Employment Professionals. Being able to change people's lives in a positive outcome, but it's allowed me to seek my potential growth of what I really want to do as a business developer, where I want to go with my future. Scott says if you're looking to make a change and go back to school like Lopez did, to ask your current or future employer about school credit options. Also, two top paying jobs in Kern County are engineers and pharmacists. If you work in one of those areas, you're going to make more in Kern County than pretty much anywhere in the country. Again, supply and demand. We need people to fill those positions and we don't have a huge pool of talent in those areas. I know there's a lot of companies that are willing to pay for schooling and training. It's all about speaking up and asking. And many of times you'll be surprised if you're a good worker, you show up to work on time and you don't call in, a lot of these employers are willing to pay for your training as well. Based on the cost of living calculator that you just showed me, how does our cost of living help in recruiting both employees and companies here to Kern County? Well, as you saw, our cost of living is about average for the nation, which is really unbelievable for any place in California. So people who want to live in California but don't want a California price tag, Kern County is a great place to be. For those looking to get their foot in the door with a seasonal job, Carpio says now is the time to start looking for a seasonal job for the holidays. So October, end of September is always a good time to start applying, um, calling different companies, getting on their websites, going in person, dropping off applications. So you want to give yourself about two to two and a half months before the season kicks in. And Carpio says those seasonal jobs could turn into full time careers or can just build your resume for the future. For more information about where you can apply for jobs or tips on how to get to go back to school and get more training for a career shift, visit the store on our website at turn to 23com For Kern Back in Business, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC, connecting you.